Hey my friends, welcome back to Omzani Gaming. As you can see, we're doing another little video about Patches, the little bastard spider. This is where you meet him the very first time, in the lecture building on the first floor. He's just hanging out behind the door, basically teasing you and all this stuff. Now this takes place after the One Reborn fight. You can come to this area as well. Second time you're going to meet him in the Nightmare Frontier. You're not really going to meet him, but he's sitting on those rocks over there. And he's uh, actually planning to kill you. Like I say, he's not a nice little guy. This is the cutscene that happens in the Nightmare Frontier. If you go down the little slope to pick up the coins, he's going to push you off the ledge and basically just, you know, tease you a little bit more. He's not a nice, he's not a nice little insect. Uh, but we'll forgive him for that. But I want to say thank you to one of my subscribers, Dale Sawyer 3993 for pointing out to me that there's actually a third place that I did not know about where you can find patches again in the game. And this is in one of the Chalice Dungeons, but we'll get to that point. But uh, Dale, thank you so much for, for that. Now this takes part after the uh, Amygdala and the One Reborn fight on the first floor. This is where you meet patches. Now it's very important that you don't kill him. If you kill him in the main game, he's not going to spawn in the chalice dungeon so it's very uh, as tempting as it is i know you want to just smash his head with a, an axe or something but if you want to meet him for the third time in the game in one of the chalices do not kill him because if you kill him he has to leave on his own will he has to leave this part of the game and he does that after you interact with him again uh, at the end of the game after mogo's wet nurse i think then uh, he just leaves and then you can find him via one of the, the glyph codes in one of the chalices so please be warned people do not kill him during the main game not here or when he's sitting on the side of the cliff i can't stress this enough i do get comments sometimes people telling yeah but the video is not in the video is incomplete no it's not you're not watching the whole video so please do not kill him if you want him to spawn in the chalice for the third time uh, this is very very important. I'll show you why that happens Either he's gonna spawn and he's gonna have a whole new dialogue with you or There's only gonna be like a little bath messenger thing So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to uh, this chalice. I just I killed him, but don't do that <laughs> Be sure you're playing online go to chalice f28 p r v u m Make sure you're playing online uh, in Bloodborne. Uh, search that lift code. You'll get to this specific screen over here. Join this uh, chalice. It's one of the rotted chalices, but it's actually not so hard to get to the specific thing. So I'm just going to run through this very, very quickly just to show you guys because you find patches on layer two in front of the boss room in one of the treasure areas. So I'm just rushing past all these... Uh, enemies here but if you follow this path you'll get there quite quickly just drop down into the little pit go into that little cave there's a silver beast guarding the lever uh, he's actually the boss on this level as well so he's he's not it's not that hard to to defeat i'm using a bold hunter's mark just to get out of there to start over again from the lantern it's just easier to do this than instead of running towards running all the way back i'm not doing the side door in this one but the side door in the next one is actually an important one. Very easy boss fight. You can kill this guy with one visceral and he's dead. <clears throat> Again, depending on the strength of your character. This is my max level character, my 544 character that I use for my videos. Right, we are on the second layer. Remember to light the lanterns as you go. It's, it's quite an interesting little chalice. I did enjoy playing this one. There's the boss door ahead of me, but we're going to head over to this land, uh, this ladder over here. Uh, there's one of those screaming, I don't know, I think banshee things guarding the lever in this, uh, in this area. So just be very careful uh, because uh, this can be quite a tough enemy. But again, you can just visceral the, the enemy and get rid of him. I'm going to pull the lever and uh, again, use a bold hunter's mark to get out of there. Right, heading towards the boss door. Now remember, it's the treasure area before the boss door, so you're going to go to your left. There's actually a, a message on the floor that tells you a secret wakes ahead, as you can see there. 
and it's uh, probably pointing towards where you find patches. So there's a couple of werewolves in this area. As soon as you head up these stairs, head to the left, open this door, watch out for the trap there. Open up the door again on the right hand side. You're gonna drop down to this area. This little skeleton actually followed me, but it's behind that door, so just I just got rid of him. And then it says superior being waits ahead. Oh, the sight of you is as balm to my eyes. Truly, you are an indubitable, irrefutable friend. And my dear compeer, I vow once more to ease your burden. <laughs> And then you can buy various stuff from him. He's, he's a merchant like he is in Dark Souls 3, and he's a merchant like he is in, uh, in Elder Ring and all that stuff. So this is, this is quite cool. Uh, I'm going to show you what happens if you did kill him before this part of the game. The only thing that's going to show up in this era is a little bath messenger. The time has come again, I fear. But if the fates smile upon us, we'll soon meet again. Farewell, dear friend. <laughs> but yes, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I did. It was, it's, it's always fun to me to discover new things, new old things, if I can put it that way. But uh, again, Dale, thank you so much for that. I will see you guys in the next one. Patches is one of the weirdest characters when it comes to the, you know, the Soulsborne games. I sometimes feel sorry for the guy, but sometimes I just hate him. You decide. I'll see you in the next one, people. Cheers.